Home care for seniors. Will Medicare finally cover it? Home care for seniors has been a growing concern for many families across the country. Recently, Vice President Kamala Harris proposed making home care services available through Medicare. But what would that mean for seniors, and how soon could this happen? In today's video, we're diving into what this proposal could mean for Medicare beneficiaries and how it could transform senior care in the U.S. Before we share more of this valuable information, please take a moment to help the channel by sharing, liking and subscribing to our YouTube channel it is at no cost to you. We are aware that 90% of viewers don't subscribe or ring the notification bell, please do. As we all know, most seniors prefer to age in the comfort of their own homes. However, home care services, like help with bathing, dressing, and household tasks, are not currently covered by Medicare, leaving many families to shoulder these costs. But that could soon change if Vice President Kamala Harris' recent proposal gains traction. Let's take a look at what home care means, how this could impact Medicare, and what you need to know about this potential shift in senior care policy. Current home care coverage under Medicare right now, Medicare only covers home care services in very specific situations. 1. Skilled nursing care. Medicare will cover home health services if it's medically necessary, such as after surgery or if a patient is homebound and requires skilled nursing care or physical therapy. Limited duration. Even then, this care is usually limited in duration and is not intended for long-term, non-medical personal care services, like help with daily activities. The proposal from Vice President Harris aims to address a huge gap in the Medicare system. Under her plan, home care services could be extended to include non-medical care. This could cover services such as personal care assistance with daily activities, housekeeping, and meal preparation. Expanded access. This would allow seniors who are not necessarily homebound but still need assistance to receive the help they need to age in place. Caregiver support. Family caregivers, who often take on the responsibility of caring for their elderly loved ones, might receive some relief through these new benefits, reducing their physical and financial burden. How would this benefit seniors? If this proposal moves forward, it would be a major win for seniors. Here are a few key benefits. Independence. Many seniors want to remain independent in their own homes for as long as possible. Expanding Medicare to cover non-medical home care would give them the support they need. 2. Affordability. Right now, many seniors have to pay out of pocket for home care, which can be extremely expensive. Adding this benefit could significantly reduce those costs. Improved quality of life. Access to home care services can help prevent seniors from having to move into nursing homes or other facilities allowing them to enjoy a higher quality of life at home. While this is an exciting development, there are challenges to making it a reality. Funding. One of the biggest questions is how the government would fund these expanded services. Would taxes increase, or would other parts of Medicare be reduced? Timeline. It's important to note that these changes won't happen overnight. It could take years for this proposal to be debated, passed, and implemented. If home care becomes a Medicare-covered service, it could be a game-changer for millions of seniors and their families. We'll keep an eye on this proposal as it moves through the legislative process, so be sure to subscribe for updates. Let us know in the comments if you or someone you know would benefit from home care being covered by Medicare. This video was created by Bill Vargas an independent Medicare agent and a veteran, which means he works for you not the insurance companies. Go to MedicareSelfEnroll.com enter your zip code to find the right Medicare plan for you in your area and then easily self-enroll. Your trusted partner in Medicare enrollments.